Welcome to Daily Art Day number 2,884. Still working on Severus Snape. I actually put in a darker background because I wanted to get an idea of how the value of his face is looking compared to the rest of the drawing. Um, I, I've kind of gone back and forth. I was going to, at the very beginning, I was going to have the background really dark. And then I, I moved to having it really light or just white. And now I think a mid-tone may be good, so we'll see. I have some, I, I have the dark mark and the dough that's going to be back there, the Patronus. So we'll have to see what that works like. It may get darker, may get lighter back there, depending on, you know, how it how it kind of moves forward. So that's kind of part of the the drawing aspect. You 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 know, no plan um, survives first contact, basically. So you have an idea, you move forward with it, and then you adjust as you go. So always good, always figuring out something, always finding something. And today I actually softened up a lot of the. Um, marks and things in his face to turn the form, you know, a, a bit more. I'm really liking the way it looks now. I still think I need to turn the lighter side of his face better, build in some form in the darker side of his face. Right now it just seems really flat. I do think that I can build in some uh, subtle values there to really help this out. But there's Severus Snape so far. It's going to take a few more days at least. Well, probably a while. I mean, I'm using a whole sheet of paper, so these usually take a lot longer. So for today's wisdom, I want to talk to you. I actually want to paraphrase um, a bit of wisdom by Jim Rohn, where he talks about combination locks. And, you know, when you work a combination lock, you probably, you put in four or five numbers or whatever, and then it's only the last number that opens the lock. And our life and our experience and our motivation is kind of like that every single day, you know, uh, most of our life. We'll go through and we'll figure out things, you know, we'll get closer and closer and closer, but it's that last little bit, that last little chunk at the end that really pushes us beyond where we thought we could be. And we become more motivated, more actualized, more passionate in what we're doing. And I really saw that as a good correlation to showing up daily. I hear it from Twyla Tharp uh, and Stephen King, Twyla Tharp with The Creative Habit, love this book. When they both talk about daily practice and showing up to create space and hold space for your muse to show up, for, luck, for yourself to get lucky, for something to kind of come into that space. So we work on our creativity daily so that that can actually happen. Also, when, we, when we're when we working towards what we love, you know, like this drawing here, when, we work, when we're working towards our art or whatever we do creatively or whatever we do in general, we're preparing ourselves to understand when the muse steps in, when we get lucky, uh, when that last number of the combination lock is actually thrown. You know, if we don't show up daily, if we don't prepare our minds daily, if we don't think about it daily, if we don't use everything in our life to service what we do daily, what we love, we're not really going to understand when something amazing happens. Uh, this reminds me of a wonderful story about, I think his name is Charles Goodyear, the creator of the company Goodyear. So for years, he'd been doing a lot of experiments on trying to basically find rubber. He didn't know <laughs> he wanted to find rubber. So he's dealing with a bunch of concoctions and he walks into uh, someone's place one day and actually accidentally spills a, one of these concoctions on a potbelly stove. This is forever ago when they had potbelly stoves. And the substance, instead of melting like molasses, it actually charred like, like skin or something, or I can't remember what, what it's described at. And it, when it dried, it turned into rubber. It was the first discovery of rubber. And they called it vulcanized rubber, and basically is what made Goodyear what it is today. But Charles Goodyear, I hope I'm getting his name correct, 
basically said, no, I wasn't lucky at all. I, I did all kinds of ex experiments before then to prepare for that moment. If I hadn't been deep into the idea of it, deep into the practice, he wouldn't have understood that that was a wonderful experiment, or that that was a wonderful discovery, right? He probably would have just said, oh, well, I dropped something and scooped it up and threw it away. So let's prepare every day. How can you prepare? How can you spend just a few more minutes every single day on your creative habit, something you love? Make space for luck. Make space for that muse. Make space so you can figure out that last bit of the combination and become motivated, passionate, actualized, prolific, and productive artist. Thanks so much for watching. See you next video. And until then, let's keep creating.